Hi, this is Axe from Groovy Entertainment. Today video is talking about lost history. And you might see me say a lot in my comments when you ask for a request about things. Now, lost history is, is when I can't find something that you asked for. Because a lot of your requests was around back when they first came out. And now they're gone. Like somebody had asked for a Sesame Street book on tape. Now I found the book, but the cassette tape was lost. I couldn't find it no I couldn't find it nowhere. So that's lost history because it was here way back when it first was around. Now it's lost politely. You're never gonna hear that cassette tape ever again. I I can read the book to you. That's not lost. And some people ask for a lot of books on records. Some of them books on record are long gone because I was too late to the party. And you can kind of say my channel is preserving history because I do buy a lot of stuff off of eBay. And sometimes they only have one copy. And if I'm lucky enough, I buy the only copy they have. Then I stick it on this channel so it can last forever. So you guys can see it. And generation on top of generation to see it after everyone long gone and so be on this channel. And there are a lot of good stuff that I do try to get that is kind of lost history because some fool want to charge over a hundred dollars for a book on tape or a book on record. So that's kind of his lost history because nobody's ever gonna buy it from him. It's gonna just sit there so he be smart enough to bring it back down to regular people prices. Like yesterday, I saw three Gumby book on tape. Now, I never knew Gumby had a book on tape before. First time of me even seeing one. But I can't, you're never going to see it on this channel unless I hit the lottery. Because I'm not paying 100 bucks, 100 bucks for a book on tape that I'm only going to play one time. And I'm never going to play that thing ever again. So when you ask for things, I love when you ask for things that I try to find for you guys, but if I can't find it, it lost history. You're never going to see that cassette tape or record again. The book might never be lost history because I think some of these books on tape or record are already books that have already been made. Then years later, or maybe years or months later, they, put, they make a record to it so you can hear the the audio and the sound effects and all that. And I think that's how they do the cassette tape too. So the book is always gonna be there because they probably made a thousand copies of this one book of this one book. But when the tape came out, people bought all the tapes up. Or people aren't selling their copy. And that's good because then they have their they have the history. Like I said, my whole channel is a history channel in a sense. Because you're never gonna see this stuff anywhere else. I don't think you can see my stuff anywhere else on YouTube. You might see it on eBay if they still have other copies, but I do buy everything off of eBay. That's where all my stuff comes from. So, so when you ask for things, I look on eBay and Etsy. I look on them two sites to see if I can find anything you ask for. And you can ask for as many, many requests that you want. Most likely, you probably won't get your request if it's gone. And sometimes, I'm going to say, if you ask for a request, I'm going to say that your chances are kind of <laughs> maybe 20, maybe 20 out of, out of 100. It, it's rare that you will get a request. Now, sometimes I am lucky enough to find what you asked for, like yesterday or the day before, this person asked for five requests, and I, I was only able to find one of his one of his requests that he kept asking and asking, and, and all I kept finding was the book, the the cassette tape was gone. It was lost history. I couldn't find nothing. Not, I couldn't find none none of the cassette tapes. But when he did ask for the fifth one, it would I was able to find it. The whole thing completed. Of course, you won't hear it. You probably, he won't hear his request until right, next month when I do buy it. And we got a lot of good stuff for this show coming out. 
for whenever I get a hold to it. Because as you see, I when I buy stuff, the stuff I bought years ago or months ago go on top, and all the new stuff go on bottom. So anything I anything that I buy new for this month, you won't see it until who knows when. Only thing you will see if I buy anything new is when it's a holiday theme. Like you're gonna see Easter stuff coming out on Easter. I bought that stuff last month, but you'll be seeing it this month for Easter. But anything else you won't see until I get done with all the other stuff I bought. And we got a lot of good stuff coming out for this channel. We got some of the good stuff that it's gonna be a, it's gonna I it may blow your mind. You won't you just say, Well, I didn't know this was on audio. And let's take a two to think there's a two in one video. What I'm gonna do is my third channel is mostly audio records, stories on record or CDs or radio shows. What I'm gonna do is transform all that stuff to this channel once this channel gets monetized or whatever. So the third channel, that's why you don't see me promoting my third channel anymore. Because I'm going to put all my stuff on the, on the third channel to the second channel. That's why you saw me change, um, I think it was called Groovy Stories, Adventure in Audio Books or whatever. I had changed it to Adventure in Retro Audio Stories. Because I'm going, to, I'm going to add all that good stuff to this channel. So you get to see like Six Men, Dire Men, The Bionic Woman, of uh, Star Trek. You might see The Incredible Hawk, Fantastic Four, uh, more Spider Man, more Superman, more Batman, Wonder Woman, Aqua Man, I think, or Flash. You're going to see so much stuff on this channel. That's going to blow your mind even more. And half of the stuff you're going to see is kind of, I bought all the copies off of eBay way back when. And we still got a lot of good stuff. We even got, what that thing? Hollow Man, I think it's called. Or Hologram Man. That's on the second, the third channel, but I'm going to bring it all to this channel. And we still got a lot more episodes recorded for that character. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff. It's gonna it's gonna be the ultimate retro audio channel. And what I will show you won't be on anyone else's channel. And nobody does this stuff. Nobody cared about all the stuff I'm showing you guys. Mostly everything on YouTube now is politics, video games, uh flat uh fashion, um vacation people. But nobody does audio, retro audio stuff, like like books on record, books on tape, book on CD, stories on records. So I think I found something that nobody does. And that's why I'm getting all the good views and stuff. And I'm happy for you guys liking this stuff too. Because like I said in my other videos, I was around when the stuff was out. I just didn't, didn't have any of the stuff that maybe one or two books on I think a record or tape because I was mostly a TV person I was mostly collecting VCR tapes or video games mostly Nintendo stuff because Nintendo was out but the books on record and stuff I seen them in Toy R Us and KB and Kmart's AIM Caldor Bradley's Sometimes the grocery store would have like AMP. But I went right into that stuff. I mostly saw a VCR tape and had a good cover. I wanted that movie. The other stuff I can care less about. I, I even collected coloring books. Had a good, nice cover. Our trading cards. So all the stuff I'm hearing, all the stuff I'm playing for you guys are kind of brand new to me too. In a sense, because like I said, I was around, didn't have no, I had no use for it. So now I get to kind of learn and feel how you felt back in the day when you did listen to all this stuff. 
when it was brand new. So I'm happy to play all this stuff for you guys and make this a trip into memory land. So when you hear me say lost history, now you know. If I can't find the audio, or I can't find either of the two, that's lost history. It was here 40 years ago, 30 years ago, 20, maybe, maybe over 50 years ago. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of last at the party. So, but keep asking for your request. I changed my mind about the, re I've, in July, I had made a video about doing no more requests. So, and then I just said, bump it. I'll just do the request. Most likely, I probably won't find your request. And if I do, I know it won't be that much request. Because by the time I do find your request and do buy your stuff, they'll probably be gone because I have to buy stuff. The only way I could buy stuff is every, every, every month on 10th, the 10th of every month. So on eBay, eBay first come, first serve. So I might see that audio thing you had asked for, but I won't be able to get it until the next month. And by the, that time, it's probably long gone if somebody else got there before I got there. But keep leaving me your request. If I if you do see your request, you get a shout out when I do play when I play your video when I get it. The request I like to get out immediately. So if I buy your book on record, CD tapes, you will see it once it gets to the house. I'll I'll play that real fast so you can get you can see your your request. But anything that's not request will get played. In the order as it got bought. So you might, and if you go to my first channel, you get a sneak preview of everything that's for the channels. So that'll tell you what's coming new to, to the first channel or the second channel. And I'll leave my channel, my first channel in the, in the comments below. So you can hop to that channel. And we got a lot of good unboxing episodes coming out this month and we got it for both channels so if you want to know what's coming out for the second channel go to the first channel you'll see all the sneak previews but just remember you won't see you you will see what's coming out but you won't hear it until we get to the stuff i already bought for the channel so so if you like subscribe share and comment and have a groovy day we'll have another video coming out real soon